Hello YouTube, it's me again, and today I'm going to bring you guys another uh, The Political Machine 2008 video. Yeah. So what my new series is going to do is well, make a series on uh, elections, basically. Yeah, just a bunch of elections and shows. And we are going, this for this video, we are going to do a mock 2004 election. Now, the election after 2008 2004 are the same, so it really wouldn't make a difference. Well, some issues might have changed. Yeah. So, okay, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are our settings. And we are going to be George Bush, because he, in 2004 he was running for a second term. And his opponent will be John Kerry. Kinda looks weird. I mean, look, does this, doesn't this look weird? I'm serious, uh, I have nothing against John Kerry, I'm just saying that the ball card looks weird. But it's always fun to do this. You can get this game, and you could probably do this all day just entertaining yourself. Okay, let's get started. So, Kerry versus Bush. Okay, so Bush faces Kerry in a presidential map. The current is raised to pale husband Ron, if the gloves are off, and our two candidates, George W. Bush and John Kerry, are coming out from their corners. Hailing from Texas, Bush leads the Republican ticket against Democrat of Massachusetts needed Kerry. The two have a long road ahead of them, and then 21 weeks of campaigning, advertising, traveling throughout the country, trying their best to prove the, their worth as the president of the United States. Which one will emerge? You're victorious on the dead top. Now, I know that Nadger, like, in 2008, he was becoming increasingly unpopular. Now, um, I'm not going to tell you guys that how I thought of Bush. I mean, I just thought that... Okay, I'm just gonna tell you one thing. I like... I just really like the bobble head. I'm just gonna say that. Okay, so let's check the polls. Okay, we're losing, but it's not that bad. Okay, so we're just going to take a look at all the states that are kind of close and that we need to win. Also, some states I would like to win. Yeah, because it was a tight race. Actually, in 2004, I'm not joking. Okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to start building some outreach centers. We're just going to basically build some outreach centers so we can start getting in some, um, so we can get some uh, uh, political clout so that we can win endorsements. Okay, we're gonna we need we need seven. Okay, um Okay. Now let's start getting some endorsements. Okay, we need to win West Virginia because at the state, we say we can help. Okay, Kerry takes an early lead and raises the presidency. But the stuff to hear the bell, Paul sure George Bush has slipped behind and Kerry in the first leg of the president race. Don't roll him out so quickly, one expert knows. As Bush can't be just getting started, it's, it's much too early to predict the winner. Not that it was ignored at the Kerry camp, which staff him. Members are thrilled with early results, saying, I think you should just throw in the towel. One of the carries volunteers joke, I mean, once you have a lead, like ours, it can't be hard to catch up. And that's what, that's all crap what people say sometimes. I'm just saying. Ooh, that's what we got here. Awesome, we got one of these guys. Okay, you go down. Um, I'm not liking this. 
leggy, not yeggy. How much are poles? Wow, we're winning, so I really don't see the problem. They choose to ring me. Okay, so this is where we get to pick our VP. Now, where is the... Uh... Oh, there he is. Dick Cheney. Okay. You're going to Tennessee. Ooh, so we have Al Gore. Wow. Once a vice president, always a vice president, I guess. This show's tough. Okay, so we did okay. Great answers on the O'Malley scenario for us. Okay, I just have to make, go around make sure there's no need, major shockers. Bush maintains a steady second place showing halfway through the campaign. Continuing with showing off his media marks in the second half of the election, while polls still show George Bush trailing behind frontrunner John Kerry. We're gonna break out this one, one Bush that one so we've spent the first half, blah 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 blah. We're in the lead, so why are you saying that crap? I will not know. I'll never know.
Oh, well, we're most likely going to win Tennessee, so... Whoa, even Hawaii's close. I didn't even know that. Okay, so... What you do? It's so hard to say. We'll hire this guy. Okay, what show is this? I'm not like scenario again. Ah, what the heck. W. Bush's campaign kicks into gear. The election night comes soon. Kerry has a little time to fight back, but experts agree it will be tough. This late in the game, voters can be difficult to persuade, one expert notes. Once they have their mind made up, they they tend to be tough to sway. However, if a candidate can reach the out to the undecided voter state, they will pull out of that. Kerry may want to keep this as in mind as the election continues. As the Bush team of uh, staff members are ecstatic about the news, it was a tough fight to get our poll numbers up, the staff member told us. But if you can keep it up, George W. Bush should have nothing to fear, fear come the election night. Yeah, let's go to Maine. Uh, uh, looking at all, well, everything Harry has, like, I don't think I can really switch it now. Well, maybe I can try to win California. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, that's a big debate. Okay, well, let's just see the mad here. Ah, oh, what the heck, that's the worst thing that can happen. I hope I didn't just can jinx myself. Seriously, 
This is all everything the guys can give me. Well, we're still leaving polls and we have a comfortable lead in uh, popular vote. 44 to 48, so. I guess this is a glitch. It's quite common. Okay, I can't win any more in Dwarf's Months. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Okay, we'll, we'll probably win Washington. I have to see where I can, I really need to get those votes. Tessie, Mississippi, Mississippi, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, I really have to look what, what really need to win. Oh, uh, we're gonna win, by, we'll probably win by landslide, I'll tell you guys that. I mean, California. Well, we might win Washington. Why, I'm not certain. Sheesh, uh, this is so hard to decide. Wish I had more optimists. Case scenario, we win Mississippi. I really want to win Hawaii. Mm. Again, there's nothing really else I can do. Well, we might win for Shockers. So, okay, election night, here we come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want Vermont. So, it will carry us slightly over us, but it's going to turn around. Republican state for the lead. Yeah, we have Michigan. I don't know, I didn't expect it would go to us. Mm -hmm. Yes, we won. Yes, we won Arkansas. We just have to wait until and see until those battleground states. We won. So. Yes, we won Washington. Come on, California. Yes, we won California. Why? Come on. 
Yes, we won Hawaii. Huh, so it looks like things went our right way after all. And we won the landslide. Okay, Bush has won the day in the presidency with the strong showing in both the popular vote and the electoral college. One of the science actors in Bush's victory was the use of the capital, which he won since the trick. Bush has spent less uh, money in any care, but just goes to show you don't have to buy your victory. Back to true, bro. Back to true. Okay, so here's the map. Landslide. Hmm, well, I was close in Hawaii. Uh, what else? Vermont was close. California was close. Mm, well, we won pretty much all the battleground states by like two percent. So yeah. So there you have it, guys. Four hundred twenty-two to one sixteen. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the um. For this little video, and I will see you guys later. Bye!